Welcome back guys to the ultimate new game plus guide. Today I will show you 11 tips that will cover everything you need to know when you do a new game plus. I will show you the easiest way to upgrade all your legendary items without spending any money, time and materially into it. I will show you the fastest way to get more ability points and I will also show you how to get all 9 possible Atlantis weapons combinations. Tip number 1. I will first start with the basics of a new game plus. In order to start a new game plus, load your recent save where you have finished at least the family storyline, then go to the main menu and there you will see the new game plus button. Every save file that has a silver token next to it will be able to start a new game plus. The gold token indicates that this save file is already a new game plus. Save files with no tokens at all mean they did not beat the game and they did not even start a new game plus. Before you start a new game plus now with the start new game plus button, you should make sure that you create a manual save to save your last progress from your last playthrough. There's also a warning pointing you to do exactly that because your autosave will be overwritten. So create a manual save just in case you want to go back. Tip number two. Every time you make a new game plus you also have the opportunity to change your character, which means you can switch from Alexius to Cassandra or from Cassandra to Alexius. And you keep all your items, all your progress, all your materials, they will be in Alexius or Cassandra's inventory when you do a new game plus. So you can experience the whole game from the other perspective. And you can also choose a different playstyle, for example Warrior or Hunter if you played Assassin before, or the other way around. So you can now enjoy all the quests in the game including the whole story with a high level character where you may have struggled in your first playthrough, which is really satisfying. Tip number 3. So right after starting New Game Plus you will get the eagle animation flying over Kefalonia, then you are sitting on your house wearing your old gear that you had before you started the New Game Plus. You have all your items, materials and money and you are at the same level than before you started the New Game Plus. The only thing you actually lose is your map progress, so you have to uncover all the map, all the fast travel points again and you lose your lieutenants because they are quest rewards and they get reset. It would not have made sense that you have the lieutenants already in your ship and still in the quest, so that's why they are removed. Tip number 4. You can speed up your whole new game plus when you do the following. Once you are finished with Kefalonia and you have your ship, first travel with your ship to focus, unlock your fast travel point there. You can then just one shot the leader in Megaris, do the battle and then warp back to focus and call the Adrestria in to complete the quest. That will give you a head start at the beginning and you can be in Athens in 2 to 3 hours and even beat Naxos and beat all the creatures in 6 to 8 hours and then you can access Atlantis again. You don't really have to bother with anything else on the map except for the tombs, so collect the points from the tombs and then head directly to Atlantis, do everything again as often as you want. Tip number 5. One of the most important things people do in New Game Plus is to collect the unique weapons they may have lost or may have dismantled during their first playthrough, like the Spartan Javelin, the Oaken Bow of Chambers or the Minotaur Maze. Weapons of this caliber really make a difference when using in one of the builds from the channel. Since all the quests are getting reset you can also collect all the unique weapons again. Every chest is again filled with the weapon, every quest can be done again, you can collect all these unique weapons if you want. So make sure you check out the unique weapons locations guides, I will link it here at the end of the video. Tip number 6. The other important thing about weapons and gear is that when you collect legendary items, legendary gear, you can collect them again in a new game plus and they will all be at your current level. So for example, when you start a new game plus on level 99 and you defeat a mercenary dropping a legendary weapon, for example the mullet of everlasting flame or whatever item, this item will be upgraded in your inventory and be at level 99 from that point on. So you don't have to invest any material drachme to upgrade your legendary weapons. You can collect all your legendary weapons and items again in a new game plus without having to spend anything on it. That's the fastest and easiest method to do it. Otherwise you would need millions of materials and money to do it. But just start a new game plus, you will get everything on level 99 for free. And you don't even have to be at level 99 to do that, because you can just start out at level 70 in New Game Plus, because all the legendary gear sets are special, they update two times. They update once when you collect the single gear item 
and then they upgrade again when you collect the last item of the gear. So just save the last item of every gear set, so kill the last cultist of every cultist branch when you are at level 99. Then you get an upgrade again on all these items from that branch. So even if you collected them on level 75, on level 85, some of these items, when you collect the last piece, every piece of the set will be upgraded again to be level 99 for free. Tip number 7. Doing a new game plus is also the fastest way to gain more ability points. It is faster than any XP farming method. As already explained in the XP and money guide, it is faster to do a new game plus to collect all the free ability points from tombs again. All these points can be recollected. That means 22 points from tombs in the main game, 18 points from the Marble Maiden when you have the Atlantis DLC, 18 points from the Rifts in the Underworld and 18 points from the Izu Cages. That alone is a total of 76 points you can easily collect while doing a new game plus. And you can reach that within around 22 hours of playtime. So that means an ability point can be acquired every 15 minutes. That is faster than any XP grinding method. So you already see that when you only do a single new game plus, you can also upgrade all your gear, your legendary gear for free. You can recollect the unique items you missed. And you can also collect 80 more ability points to make all these cool builds on the channel. So that is a really big synergy effect with just a single new game plus. Of course you can do even more new game plus if you want to collect double unique items or if you want to collect more ability points, you can do it as often as you want. Tip number 8. So the best level and the best time to start a new game plus is when you finished the Atlantis DLC and the main game, when you collected all the tombs and all the free points from the Atlantis DLC. Do at least these things, otherwise you would waste a total of 54 points from the DLC and 22 points from the main game. So make sure whenever you do a new game plus, collect all these free ability points if you want to get the maximum out of your ability points. So when you are finished with the main game and the Atlantis DLC for the first time, you will likely be around level 70. And that is absolutely okay to start a new game plus, because you will also level up a lot faster when doing so. You can redo all the easy quests at the beginning of the game and collect all the low hanging fruits and level up really really quickly. And you don't have to worry about your legendary weapons upgrades, because as I explained you already, when you spare the last part of a legendary set, then they will all upgrade again when you are at level 99 and you collect the last piece of the set at level 99. So spare the last cultist of every cult branch until you reach level 99 and then collect the last piece and everything will upgrade again to be level 99. So it's totally okay to start a new game plus at level 70 or below. It really doesn't matter as long as you save the last cultist of every branch. Tip number 9. There are two things where the game gets a bit tricky when you do a new game plus. The first thing is in the underworld. When you want to collect the set of the fallen again and these items are already level 99, then you will not get these items again. So you will only get items when they are not level 99, then they get upgraded and you find them in your inventory. But if you already have them at max level, you have to retrieve them from your ship and bring them to the underworld to complete the quest. The fallen set is actually not a really good one, so I only recommend to equip it to pass through the wall and then unequip it and use your normal gear instead. Tip number 10. As you know there are three weapons to forge in the last part of the Atlantis DLC and you can only select between one of three options. Either of the three weapon types can only be warrior, hunter or assassin, but you cannot get all three types. But when doing a new game plus you can get the other types as well. In order to do that, you have to store these three legendary weapons in your ship. So it's the total opposite then compared to the underworld quest where you have to bring these items to the underworld. In this case, keep these legendary weapons in your ship and then you can forge another legendary weapon. If you did not put them in your ship, you would not be able to forge another weapon in the Atlantis Forge. Tip number 11. Last but not least, there's also a bug in the Atlantis DLC Ubisoft has never fixed. Normally the Ostrakas in the main game will be autocomplete when you go into a location with a tablet, but in the Atlantis DLC you will collect all these tablets again, which means that you get multiple copies of each tablet, but you already have your maximum engraving unlocked. This is a bug and you should just ignore it and don't collect them again. If you want to support my channel, then check out the join button for exclusive memberships perks. 
check out the Discord server and don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time.